Good morning, dear hearts. We're at lesson 140. Only salvation can be said to cure. Um, and I just want to note that in yesterday's lesson, I mentioned that uh, the word atonement and salvation are synonymous and both will be used throughout today's lesson. So if you're reading it, just keep that in mind. Only salvation can be said to cure. We're talking about full release of illusions. That is the cure. The only thing I'm ever healing is my mind. I'm not healing the body. I am not a body. But I need to cure, to heal, to totally eradicate all thoughts of sin and guilt and littleness and ego and the possibility of dis-ease from my mind. And when I accept salvation, I accept atonement, I accept the idea that I am one with God and always have been, now I am cured. And all of these other small thoughts and incidences and, and problems that I seem to um, have in this world, in the little R real world, will disappear. They will have been cured, released, surrendered. No longer will they exist in my mind, which is the only place they ever existed to begin with. This lesson tells us that we're either awake or we're asleep and there's nothing in between. When we choose to awaken, the Holy Spirit will lead us gently, always gently, into the happy dream, which is the, the heralding of truly waking up. But we wake up gently. It, it's not a, a sudden burst. It is a gentle awakening, which is why there's 365 lessons. But they all blend and meld in together that we can go back and forth into them and say, oh, I see this lesson is telling me very much what that other lesson did. And that's what I've been doing this year. So one of the things in this lesson is it's talking about that there's no place where holiness is not and nowhere where uh, sickness um, and sin and sickness can abide. I go back with this, with that um, sentence to lesson 30, that is God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. This is the same thing. My cure is in my mind because that's where God is. That's where the God resides, within my mind. And when I shift and I turn over and bring all of my illusions to the truth, this is how I have total and complete healing. I'm healing every single idea and thought about illness. And when I do this, as the lesson says, is we lay aside our amulets, our charms and medicines, our chants and bits of magic in whatever form they take, and we will be still and listen for the voice of healing. Also, we can go back to lesson 125. In quiet, I receive God's word today. And as I get quiet and I receive God's word, this is again, this is how I am being led to my healing. Because as I hear that voice, as I hear God's voice guiding me and leading me down this beautiful path to completeness, wholeness, holiness, I am healed and I have no longer any thought of sickness, of illness. And so my mind is cured. Lesson today, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, hourly. Hourly we get still, which is what the lesson says again, and in quiet I receive God's word. And in stillness, with nothing in our hands to which we cling, with lifted hearts and listening minds, we pray, only salvation can be said to cure. Speak to us, Father, that we may be healed. And again, this is a full and complete healing. This isn't just um, a remission. This is a complete healing because I'm healing the mind. I hope this helped. Um, please share, please subscribe, and I will see you here tomorrow when we start review four. Bye. Namaste.